Welcome to the second episode of the Concepts subseries from That Green Thing series. That Green Thing is a web-based catalog management software as a service for music publishers. One of key things that makes TGT simple to use and powerful at the same time is the concept of first-party publishers. We wanted to call it stupidity undo, but we were told this was not politically correct. So, we call it first-party publishers. It is quite common for a publisher to have several entities, sometimes they are different legal entities, more usually just aliases. The reasons are usually linked with archaic business practices, obsolete laws, CMO lock-in rules, etc. These entities are actually different in some aspects, while really one entity in other aspects. So, no matter how many different publishing entities you have and for what reasons, as long as you mark them as first-party publishers, TGT will treat them as separate entities externally, but one entity internally. Ah, you want to know more about stupidity we undo? Okay. US publishers often have one entity affiliated with ASCAP, one entity affiliated with BMI, and one entity affiliated with SESIC. Why? Because US PROs have these rules that one writer or publisher can only be affiliated with one of them. And if a writer is in one of them, then the original publisher must be in the same one, and also the administrator if one exists. So, publishers have multiple entities, and TGT will make sure you follow these rules when doing registrations. But, it will still treat them as one when distributing mechanical royalties. In some countries, CMOs only accept affiliates registered in their country. This practice is being weeded out, but it still exists. And, CWR2.N does not support territorial CMO affiliations. So everyone uses a hack of being their own sub-publisher, but with different CMO affiliations. In some countries agreements like this must be registered with a CMO before registering works. Actually, CWR3.N supports territorial affiliations for publishers and writers, but it is not in real use yet. Although, the specs for 3.0 have been around for years. Anyway, all your publishing entities should be marked as first-party publishers. Second-party publishers will be your clients, if you are an administrator and or sub-publisher. Third-party publishers are publishers of non-controlled writers. But, we don't really differentiate between the latter two as much. I mean, if you are a sub-publisher, one publisher can be your client for some works, while being other publisher in other works, right? So, whenever you need to select a publisher, like here, there are two fields, one for first-party publishers and one for others. In this case, when you select a publisher in one of them, the other will disappear. Depending on the plan, other fields will appear in that case. In this example, with sub-publishing enabled, you can choose an administrator from your client publishers. But, that is a story for another video. All I have to do in this one is make several recommendations. Here is the whole series about our software, as well as two sub-series, me covering concepts and Dave covering tutorials. Also, here is a series about Common Works Registration, CWR. All relevant links are in the description. Please share our content, like, subscribe, and keep watching.